Ron Nicoletti here, and the weekend is upon us. We have a really nice 10 race card on Saturday. And I wanted to tell you about one of the races in there, and it is race number eight. And it's a six furlong allowance optional claimer for three year olds. Now, but we've got a couple of nice horses returning from the layoff in there. And number five, Requite, making its three year old debut with Lasix added after a really promising two race freshman campaign up at Saratoga. He goes out and he wins his debut by really a really nice three and a half lengths look really good doing it then he comes back he's a distant fourth but that was in the grade one hopefully and he finished behind undefeated competitive edge the trainer is george weaver and he has this son of warriors reward working really sharply at palm beach downs really interested in seeing this horse come back another horse in here that's coming off a little bit of a layoff is the four amasi and this one was going to face winners after her promising his excuse me promising two race campaign he's the son of tail of the cat and he followed a, a second place finish it was at Gulfstream Park West. Then he goes to the tough fall Keeneland meeting, and he wins at $75,000 maiden races. Going to be in the Gustavo Delgado barn when he comes back off the layoff, and they got apprentice Harry Hernandez uh, riding that horse. And uh, this horse was pretty nice. I remember him from Gulfstream Park West. Number two, Chepstow, now in the Kirk Sadie barn, the most seasoned runner in the field, 19 previous races. He's expected to offer more after that five-wide bid last time out, but check this stat Kirk Zadie over the last couple of days has won with nine of his 11 starters that is amazing so really nice eighth race on Saturday don't forget we got great wagering throughout the afternoon we got uh, two pick fours rolling bed threes and of course the ever popular rainbow six and every race the last race each and every day we got the super high five